Hello all, Lauren Riley here. Anyway, I just wanted to talk to you all about, you know, the different types of walkers that are out there and the advantages and disadvantages to each, each one. So first off, I used to have the old, I guess, silver and gray um, button fold type where you have to push down the button and fold the leg, push down the other one, fold the leg, and so forth. The one with the rubber tips on the uh, back end and two wheels on the front. So anyway, what, the only problem with these is, that, is for one, that the uh, the buttons kind of can get stuck from time to time, and therefore that will help, that is make it more difficult for the light to come out. Then you'll need to get um, equipment to fix that issue, but, um, you know, but it's still cool. It, it's especially, especially fine when the wind is, wind is blowing quite strong, because that means that the walkers are not going to go everywhere. It'll, it'll stay put. And then you have the roll later. And the roll later, I mean, has the advantages. It's a lot quieter. You don't need tennis balls to put on the bottom. So the tips wear, you know, no tips at all. It's got four wheels. And so, and it, you know, a lot of them have the seat. Which is a cool thing. However, the biggest problem with the uh, rollator is that, that when you put the brakes on, you can still move the walker with ease somewhat. It'll be tougher, no doubt, than when the brakes are off, but you can still uh, move them. And therefore, that means that the wind, when it blows hard, will still, there'll still be an issue with that. And it's very annoying, you know. So, I mean, I guess, you know, overall, when the wind's not blowing, the roll leader is the way to go. You can, you know, it folds easier. This way there's no button to push. There's no buttons that they can get stuck. However, on those windy days, you're really going to want to have the uh, old-style push, wa um, push button walker. This way, you want to, um, you know, put brakes on when it, we're going downhill and so forth. It might be a little bit tougher to fold it from time to time, but it'll save your butt in the storm. And then, you know, no one to use the wheelchair. Wheelchairs are good for long distances, so if you're going to go, you know, where it used to be, if I was going to a trip to the mall, then I would use the wheelchair. Or, if I was going to Collins, let's say, I'd use the wheelchair there as well. Because sometimes traveling from building to building can be quite difficult. So, using a wheelchair is a good help sometimes. The only drawback with that is, if the wheelchair is too big, it can get stuck quite often. And sometimes, rooms aren't built to house wheelchairs at all, due to having chairs and desks everywhere. You can't really fit through. Haven't had really I know different style of wheelchairs too often. Usually it's just, just a standard cookie is what I usually had. No sports wheelchair, just no um, accommodations. The only difference between the one I had when I was younger and the one I had when I was older in college in my college days was that the uh, what I had when I was younger you needed to put air in the tires versus the um the other one where you didn't need to need to. The only problem is the one that, the ones that don't require any tires um will you know you need to change that when the tires become orange. Sorry, I'm feeling a bit tired so I'm closing my eyes a little. I know. Terrible I guess stage presence but I'll get there one of these days. Anyway, thank you all for listening. Bye for now.